Lesson 1. Hit and run. They were in a crosswalk near school at 3 a.m. Who? Two students from USC. What happened? A speeding car ran a red light, killing the girl. What happened to the other student? He landed on the hood of the car. Did he get off the hood? No, the car stopped and the passenger pushed the injured student off the hood. I'll bet the car continued on its way. Of course it did. Why stop after you've run over two people? I hope they find them and put them in jail for a life. Lesson 2. Windy Weather It sure is windy today. Paper is flying everywhere. This wind is dangerous for drivers. Especially for drivers of big trucks. The wind blows those trucks over. It blows the trees over, too. A tree fell onto my dad's car. Was there much damage? My dad had to buy a new car. Wow, that's terrible. Never park your car under a tree. The wind will get you, or the birds will get you. Lesson 3. What will people think? I don't like riding the bus. Why not? The seats and the windows are dirty. Don't they clean the bus every night? I think they do. You should bring some wipes with you. That's a good idea. Then you can wipe your seat and window. People will think I'm strange. Who cares? Everyone is strange. That's for sure. Don't worry about what people think. Lesson 4. A new car. Let's go for a ride. Where are we going? Into the mountains. That sounds nice. I want to show you my new car. You bought a new car? Yes, I bought a Cadillac. A luxury car. Luxury plus speed. What are we waiting for? Let me get the keys. Let me get my camera. Lesson 5. Beware the carts. What happened to your car? I got a dent in the parking lot. How did you get it? I don't know. Maybe it was from a shopping cart. Those shopping carts are dangerous. Especially the metal ones. I don't park at a store that uses metal shopping carts. That's a good idea, but there was a good sale at this store. Did you save any money on the sale? Yes, I did. I saved about $50. That's great. Yes, except this dent will cost about 150 Lesson 6. Don't ride the bus. I don't like riding the bus. Why not? Number one, it's too slow. You're right, a car is faster. Number two, it's usually late. You're right, the buses are never on time. Number three, it doesn't run 24 hours. You're right, buses don't run late at night. Number four, it's too crowded. You're right. You have to stand in the aisle. Number five, it's unsafe. You're right. Bad guys might rob you. Lesson seven, wash the car. My car is dirty. Why don't you wash it? That's what I'm going to do. Are you going to wash it yourself? Of course, it's not a hard job. I'll help you. Okay, I'll get a bucket. I'll rinse the car first. Then we can scrub it with a wet sponge and soap. After that, we can dry it with a towel. 
Then it will look like new. And you save ten dollars. Lesson eight: Don't be in a hurry. You're driving too fast. I'm in a hurry. Don't ever be in a hurry. It's not my fault. You didn't wake me up. That's not my fault. You didn't tell me to wake you up. Well, I meant to. Don't ever be in a hurry when you're driving. Why not? Because you'll have an accident. Most accidents are because people are in a hurry. How do you know that? I read a lot. I thought drunks caused most accidents. Lesson nine: Beat the light. This is such a long light. Look how many cars are waiting in line. They need a left turn arrow. Only two cars can make a left turn every three or four minutes. We'll be here forever. Get out of this lane. But we need to turn left. Forget it. Go straight. Then what? Then we'll just make a U-turn. And then we can turn right at the light. Good idea. It will be so much quicker. Lesson ten: Don't call the police. Did you see that car? Yes, he went through the red light. Can we call the police? No, the police don't care. Why not? They have to see it happen. They didn't believe us. No, they can only give a ticket if they see it happen. So, what do we do? We don't do anything. Uh, maybe we should honk the horn next time. The driver will just honk back at us. Lesson eleven. I'm going to explode. I have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you go before we left? I did, but I have to go again. Well, hold on a little longer. I think I'm going to explode. Just hold on. Oh, don't hit any more bumps. We'll be at McDonald's in just a few minutes. I hope there are fast minutes. Think about something else. Think about a hamburger. I'm thinking, but I still have to go. It's the next exit. Hold on. Lesson twelve: The crosswalk. Life isn't fair. It sure isn't. I got a ticket yesterday. What for? I was crossing the street. Were you in a crosswalk? Yes, but the red hand was blinking. So that's a ticket. Yes, it's a hundred and forty dollar ticket. That's not right. When I started to cross the street, the white walk sign was blinking. You need to walk faster. Lesson thirteen: Too many cars. Look at this traffic. I'd rather not. It gets worse every year. Why are you complaining? We're going almost twenty miles an hour. The speed limit is sixty-five. Well, that's between two o'clock and four a.m. Where are all these people going? They're all asking the same question. When are they going to fix this problem? They said they need more money. They always need more money. It'll get worse before it gets better. Lesson fourteen: A slow walker. A hundred and forty dollars? I can't believe it. What are you talking about? I I got a ticket downtown for a hundred and forty dollars. Were you speeding? No, I was crossing the street. 
Were you jaywalking? No, I was in the crosswalk. So why did you get a ticket? The officer said that red hand was blinking. Was it blinking when you entered the crosswalk? No, the white walk sign was blinking. You should fight that ticket. I'll be your witness. Lesson 15. Check your tires. Remember to put air in your tires. How often do I have to do that? Once every two months. That's a lot. What do you mean? That's six times a year. Yes, and it takes about five minutes each time. I'll try. Check your tires or you'll get a flat. Oh, that's not good. No, it isn't. A flat costs you time and money. And I don't have either. Lesson 16. Don't cut the tires. We had a problem at school. What was the problem? Someone cut the tires. What tires? The tires on the cars. Where were the cars? They were in the student parking lot. How many tires were cut? One or two tires were cut on each car. How many cars? Eleven cars. That's terrible. I hope they catch the person. Lesson 17 The Missing Car. Where's the car? What do you mean? The car isn't here. Where did you park it? I parked it right here. Are you sure? Yes, I remember this big tree. Maybe it's the wrong tree. No, this is the, the, the tree. Did someone steal it? I sure hope not. Maybe they towed it away. Lesson 18 A Dream Car. I need a cheap car. How much money do you have? A thousand dollars. Well, that should get you something. But I need something that's reliable. You need a car with low mileage. A car that was owned by a little old lady? Where have you looked? I haven't looked anywhere yet. Why not? Because I'll never find one for such a low price. You're right about that. Keep saving your money. Lesson 19. It's okay to speed. You're driving too fast. Why do you say that? The speed limit is 65. I know that. But you're doing 75. So is everyone else. But a cop might stop you. No, he won't. Some cars are doing 85. So the cop will stop those cars? Of course. He stops the fastest cars. My friend got a ticket for doing 75. Your friend was unlucky. Lesson 20 Two birds with one stone. Uh, when are we going to stop? We'll stop at the next McDonald's. How far away is that? I think we'll be there in half an hour. I hope so. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, I can always pull over. No, thank you. I'll just wait. We can kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? While you're using the bathroom, I'll order some food. Don't order for me. I'm not hungry. I'm very hungry. I'll order for you and then I'll eat yours. Lesson 21 A Bad Driver? Good afternoon, officer. Your driver's license and registration, please. Here you go.、Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? 
I have no idea. All of a sudden, I heard your siren. You rolled through that stop sign back there. But I stopped. No, you didn't. You slowed down, but you didn't come to a full stop. Well, nobody else does, so why should I? That's not the attitude of a good driver. But I am a good driver. I've never had a ticket in my life. Well, we've got one now. Here, have a nice day. Lesson one, a good singer. That woman is a very good singer. Yes, but she looks like a man. What difference does it make? Female singers are supposed to be pretty. Singers are supposed to sound good. They should look good too. There are lots of ugly men singers. Men singers don't have to look good. Then neither do women singers. Well, I would never buy her CD. But you would buy her CD if she was pretty. Yes, I would buy all of her CDs. Lesson two: A great movie. Did you see Titanic? Yes, it is a great movie. I saw it twelve times. I saw it eight times. I have the DVD. So do I. Let's go to your home. We can watch my DVD. And then we can go to my home and watch your DVD. I always cry at the end. Me too. It's so sad. Lesson three: A chilly day. Let's take a walk. What's the weather like? Let me step outside and see. It's a little chilly, right? Yes, it is. I'll put on my cap. Wear a jacket too. I wonder if I should bring my gloves. Maybe you should, just in case it gets colder. I'll put a glove in each pocket. We'll get warmer as we walk. Yes, but it gets colder as the sun goes down. Lesson four: Going digital. All the TV stations are going to go digital. Yes, that will occur next month. Most of them are already broadcasting in digital. The digital signal is very clear. Oh no, it isn't. What do you mean? I can't get a single channel. Do you have a digital TV? Of course, but I don't have cable. You don't need to have cable, but you do need a good antenna. But I have rabbit ears. Rabbit ears aren't strong enough. Buy a digital antenna. Lesson five: The Beatles. The Beatles are the best. They are the best musical group ever. I love their songs. I don't know which one I like the best. I like the ones I can sing along with. So do I. Like she loves you. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know you should be glad. What a great song! How about "Let It Be"? Oh yes, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer. Let it be. Lesson six: Old movies. Old movies are the best. Even though they're in black and white. A good story is more important than color. Actors didn't curse back then, and there was no violence. People today don't like that. No, today people like lots of action. I like a good story. I like to see actors who are like real people, like real people with real problems. They still make movies like that. Yes, but they never make much money. Lesson seven: Too much volume. Turn the radio down, please. But I'm listening to it. Well, listen to it more quietly. 
I can't wait till I grow up. What will you do? I will play the radio as loud as I want. That's okay with me. I will have a radio in every room of my house. Remind me to never visit you. All the radios will be on extra loud. Your neighbors will hate you. If they don't like it, they can move. Lesson 8 The Great Wall. I love my computer. Computers are so cool. I love to go online. The internet is amazing. You can travel all over the world. I know. I went to China yesterday. What did you do? I stood on the Great Wall and looked all around. What was it like? It was like the real thing. It was like being there? Yes, I feel like I was actually there. Lesson 9 Judge Judy. I love to watch Judge Judy. Is that a TV show? Yes, it's on every afternoon. What's so good about it? They have interesting lawsuits. Such as? Yesterday, a woman complained about a cell phone she bought on eBay. Was something wrong with the phone? It works only in Canada. Did the seller know that? Yes, and he didn't tell the buyer. I hope Judge Judy made the seller take the phone back. Lesson 10 Rain Out. What's on TV? Mm, nothing much. What about the baseball game? It got rained out. Rained out? Yes, rained out. How could that be? Well, you can't play baseball in a rainstorm. I thought they were playing under a dome. The dome doesn't close. Why doesn't it close? Who knows? They said they'll fix it before next season. Lesson 11. A card game. Let's play cards. I don't know any card games. I'll teach you one. Okay, what will you teach me? It's called poker. Is it easy to learn? Yes, it will only take about 30 minutes. Okay, teach me how to play. We each get five cards. Oh, look! I have four tens. That's great, but you're not supposed to tell me. Oh, sorry. Okay, I don't have four tens. Lesson 12, people watching. What's your favorite thing to do? I like to watch people. That's your favorite thing to do? Well, it's one of them. Where do you go to watch people? My girlfriend and I sit outside Starbucks. That sounds like a good spot. We watch people walk by with their dogs. I guess you see lots of different dogs. We don't even know what kind most of them are. There are lots of different kinds, but they all have one thing in common. Yes, they love to sniff each other when they meet. Do you get PBS on TV? Yes, everybody gets the public broadcasting system. It puts me to sleep. Tell me about it. A gardening show follows a knitting show. A cooking show follows a sewing show. A travel show follows another travel show. I'll say, I've gone around the world a dozen times already. Now they're adding old TV shows to the old movies. I sure would like to see something interesting for a change. If more people donate money, PBS could offer new shows. Who wants to donate? Public TV should be free. Lesson 14. It isn't news. TV news is so stupid. They shouldn't even call it news. Last night, they told us about a cat in a sofa. 
Yesterday, they told us about a dog in a pipe. Last week, they told us about a bear in a backyard. Last month, they told us about a mouse in a restaurant. The weatherman tells us the temperature in every town. The sports guy shows us players fighting. They always tell us what's next. They always make what's next sound exciting, but it never is. It's more like news for kids. They should have kid reporters. Lesson 15. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. I hope I win the lotto. Your chances are very small. But you can't win if you don't play. Ha! You can't win if you do play. <laughs> Someone has to win. That's what everyone says. It might as well be me. That's what everyone says. You're trying to tell me something? That didn't take long. You think I should quit playing? Save your money for school. Lesson 16 Free Money. They call him Father Dollar Bill. Yes, he was on the TV news today. Every Easter Sunday, he gives away money. Is it his money? No. Movie stars give him money to give to homeless people. How much money does he give away? This year, he gave away $15,000. That's a lot of money. He gave $100 to people in wheelchairs. What about the other homeless people? They get $1 each. People stood in line just to get $1? Lesson 17 A Crazy Driver. Look at the car chase on TV. That driver is crazy. I can't believe he hasn't crashed. How fast is he going? They say he's going 80 miles per hour. He's going to kill someone. Look, he just hit that car. Oh my goodness, no one is safe on the street. Now he's slowing down. Maybe he ran out of gas. Look, he just got out of the car and started running. I hope the police catch him. Lesson 18 A sip of coffee. Can I try your coffee? Sure, here you go. Hmm, that's not bad. There's nothing in it. What do you mean? I mean, it's just coffee. I figured that. It's not too bitter for you. It's a little bitter, but it's okay. There's no sugar or cream in it. No, it's a taste you have to get used to. Sort of like beer. Lesson 19 See a movie. Let's go see a movie. I'd rather not. Why not? You know I don't like crowds. Let's go to an early movie. Okay, that won't be very crowded. What would you like to see? Oh, I don't care. You're the one who wants to go out. Well, I want to go see The Pursuit of Happiness. What have you heard about it? It's based on a true story about a divorced man and his young son. Well, I hope it has a happy ending. Lesson 20. I have four aces. I'm a good card player. Why is that? Because I watch the other players. What do you mean? People will tell you if they have a good hand. How do they do that? For example, a friend of mine licks his lips. When he licks his lips, you know he has a good hand? I know he has a good hand, so I don't bet. He never wins your money? Nope, and it drives him crazy. He knows you can't read his mind. Maybe he thinks you are cheating. Lesson 1 A Blind Date. 
I've got a date for you. Oh, really? Are you interested? Maybe. What is she like? She's got a great personality. Uh-oh. That means that she's fat and ugly. She's cute. Okay, so she's not ugly. She's just fat. She weighs 98 pounds. Okay, she's not fat. So what's the problem with her? Who said there's a problem with her? The problem is she has no problems. She's too good for me. Lesson two, a good nose. Some people have good noses. I wish I had a good nose. Mine is way too big. I don't mean good looking. I mean good smelling. Oh, but that can be a curse. Yes, because you can be too sensitive to odors. I'll say, my girlfriend has a nose like a drug dog. Did she catch you using drugs? Sort of. She knows whenever I sneak a cigarette. You don't need a good nose for that. Cigarettes stink. But when I sneak just one cigarette in the morning, she can smell it that evening. Boy, that is a good nose. I told her she should apply for a job at Customs. Lesson 3. Go on a blind date. Would you like to go on a blind date? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. I don't want to date a blind woman. <laughs> a blind date doesn't mean that she is blind. What does it mean? A blind date is a date with someone you don't know. Why would I date someone I don't even know? To try something new and exciting. What if I don't like her? Then you don't date her again. Lesson four, let's have dinner. I think you're very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Would you have dinner with me? I would like to. Can I pick you up Friday night? What time? Eight o'clock. That sounds great. We'll go to a French restaurant. I've never been to a French restaurant. I think you'll love the food. I'm not going to eat any snails. Lesson five. I love you more than money. Does your girlfriend ever make you angry? Sometimes. What does she do? Just yesterday I told her I wouldn't trade her for all the money in the world. That was a nice thing to say. <laughs> That's what I thought. What did she say? She laughed. She didn't believe me. That wasn't very nice of her. She said that Nothing is more important to me than money. What did you say? I told her I wouldn't trade her for any other woman in the world. Lesson 6. Two pineapples. I have a date tomorrow night. Really? Who with? A girl I met at the market. You met a girl at the supermarket? She was standing behind me in a really slow line at the checkout counter. What did you say to her? I had two pineapples in my cart, and she asked where I had found them. She asked you about your pineapples? I told her I took the last two on the shelf, but I offered her one of mine. That was nice of you. She asked me how she could return the favor, so I asked her out. Sometimes a slow line can be a good thing. Lesson 7. Blue Eyes You have pretty eyes. Thank you. So do you. I wish my eyes were blue. What's the matter with green eyes? Nothing except my favorite color is blue. Maybe in your next life you'll have blue eyes. But what if I'm a fish in my next life? I think some fish have blue eyes. I hope I don't come back as a fish. I hope 
I come back as a cat. Cats have beautiful eyes. I would love to have blue cat eyes. Lesson 8, Sweet Dreams. I don't like that man. Why not? He's a dirty old man. What do you mean? He's old enough to be my father, yet he asked me out. Well, you can't blame a man for asking. He should act his age. But a lot of old people are still interested in dating. They should find a nice hobby. Just wait until you're 50 years old. Dating will be the furthest thing from my mind. That's what you say now. Wait till you're 50. Lesson 9. A Night by Himself. Give me a hug. I'm not in the mood. What's the matter? I saw you looking at that woman. What woman? You know, that woman with the big boobs. I was not looking at her. You were, too. I'm not interested in her. Then, why were you looking at her? I was looking at something else. Oh, really? Then spend tonight looking at the sofa. <laughs> Lesson 10, True Love I love you. I love you, too. I loved you the first day I saw you. Was it love at first sight? Yes, it was love at first sight. I didn't love you at first. I know, I had to chase you for a while. Yes, you chased me and then you caught me. Now you're mine forever. And you're mine forever. We're going to grow old together. And be happy together. Lesson 11, A Bad Date I had the worst date the other night. What happened? First of all, he was half an hour late. That's not a good start. Then, he didn't bother to apologize. That's rude. Then, he drove too fast to the restaurant. That's dangerous. I thought about getting out and taking a taxi home. What happened at the restaurant? We had a $40 meal, and he left $1 tip. I guess you can't go back to that restaurant. Lesson 12. Ask her out. I'm in love with that girl. Have you told her? Of course not. Why not? She would laugh at me. How do you know? Because they always do. Maybe she's different. They're all the same. Just ask her out to dinner. And then what? And then she'll know that you like her. Lesson 13, One Date Only Did you have a date Friday night? Yes, in fact, I did. Who did you go out with? A man I met in a coffee shop. Where did you go? We went to a nice restaurant. Anywhere else? Then we went to a jazz club. That sounds like a nice date. Yes, it was pleasant. But you won't date him again? No, he was nice, but there was no chemistry.